In this video we are going to look at how to calculate the masses of reactants and products in chemical reactions. There is no straightforward formula to do these kind of calculations, rather a series of steps that you need to follow. So we are going to look at an example and I'm going to explain the steps that you need to follow as we go through. So our example question is this. Calculate the mass of sodium hydroxide needed to produce 42.6 gram of sodium sulfate. Normally with a question like this you will be given the balanced equation. So we have sodium hydroxide reacting with sulfuric acid to sodium sulfate and water. And this is 2NaOH plus H2SO4 reacts to Na2SO4 plus 2H2O. In this question here we have to calculate the mass of sodium hydroxide which is a reactant in this reaction. Um, you could also be given a question where you have to calculate the product, the mass of a product. Um, the steps that you follow and the method are exactly the same. So the first step is calculate the relative formula masses, MR, for the substances needed. Which substances you actually need you find in the question. So even though there are four substances in the balanced equation, in the question it only talks about the sodium hydroxide which we have to calculate and how much sodium sulfate is produced. So sodium hydroxide and sodium sulfate are the ones that we actually need. So we need to start with calculating the relative formula mass for sodium hydroxide. We do this by adding together the atomic masses for each of the atoms involved. So we have 23, which is the atomic mass for sodium, plus 16 for oxygen, plus 1 for hydrogen. And this gives us a relative formula mass of 40. Then we do the same for the sodium sulfate. This time we have 2 times 23, because we have 2 sodium atoms, plus 32 for the sulfur, plus 4 times 16 for the oxygen, and this gives us a relative formula mass of 142. So we remember those, write them at the top. Now step 2 is calculate the ratio of masses. To do this we need to look at the balanced equation here and at the numbers in front of the substances we are looking at. So there's a 2 in front of sodium hydroxide, which means we need 2 molecules of sodium hydroxide. And we can see there's no number in front of the sodium sulfate, and that is normally then, it means it's a 1, so we need to have 1 molecule of sodium sulfate. And this tells us that 2 molecules of sodium hydroxide make one molecule of sodium sulfate. And this means that now we have to times the relative formula masses by those numbers. So 2 times 40 for sodium hydroxide gives us 80 grams of sodium hydroxide. And this makes 1 times 142 for sodium sulfate, 142 gram of sodium sulfate. So we now know that 80 gram of sodium hydroxide makes 142 gram of sodium sulfate. Now we're going to move on to step 3. Work out the mass for 1 gram of reactant or product. Here we want 1 gram of the product because we already know its mass. So we see this when we look back at the question. It says produce 42.6 gram of sodium sulfate. So sodium sulfate is a product and we already know its mass here. So therefore we divide both masses by 142 gram, which is the mass of the product sodium sulfate. So we get 80 gram divided by 142 gram for sodium hydroxide, which gives us 0 0.563 gram of sodium hydroxide. And then we divide the 142 gram for the sodium sulfate by 142 grams, and this gives us 1 gram of sodium sulfate. 
So now we know that 0 0.563 gram of sodium hydroxide makes 1 gram of sodium sulfate. Now we're going to move on to step 4, our final step. Scale up or down from 1 gram to the mass in the question. The mass in the question here is 42.6 gram. And this means that we have to times our masses by 42.6. So 0 0.563 grams of sodium hydroxide times 42.6 gives us 23.984 gram of sodium hydroxide. Then 1 gram of sodium sulfate times 42.6 gives us 42.6 gram of sodium sulfate. So now we know that 23.984 gram of sodium hydroxide makes 42.6 gram of sodium sulfate. And now we have the answer to our question. We now, now know how much sodium hydroxide we need to make 42.6 gram of sodium sulfate. So we can answer this question by saying that 23.984 gram sodium hydroxide is needed to produce 42.6 gram of sodium sulfate.